Hey, what's up and welcome back everyone to the Iceman Isaac Academy, the second channel of the Warzone Academy dedicated specifically to coaching every single day. Today we are returning with one of your favorite series and that is Spectating Solos, where we go through and I try to play through the entire match as a solo player to get the win. And I'm walking you through every decision that I make, every micro rotation, every gunfight, every big picture rotation. But eventually, I end up getting taken out in this video, and we talk through all the mistakes that players are making in solos. The biggest thing with this game is as we're looking at a new map, we're not going to, you know, have a learned experience of Verdansk where we know if I'm in this building in the end game, I should do this. We're having to form these more complex decision making processes based off of the information that we're gathering in the moment. Crap. Okay, this building is in the circle. This is the terrain that I'm dealing with. And that's what we talk about in this video, learning how to adapt on a new map that a lot of people don't like, but it's largely just because they're unfamiliar with it. So let's learn how to conquer it, learn how to be a demon inside of Caldera. And yes, there are things to complain about, but I think on the whole, Caldera is a great map and we can learn to dominate it together. If you guys enjoyed the style of video, make sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe if you want to see more and make sure to join me over on Twitch so you can be a part of the action. Enjoy. This is going to be spectating solos. If the game goes well, we're going to play it out and may make it on the main channel, may make it on the second channel. Regardless, the entire time through, we're going to be really focused on coaching, critiquing everything from our rotations to how we're winning individual gunfights. You know, stuff really hits the fan. It may take me a second to kind of rewind and go back through everything. But ideally, you can catch it all on the fly. So, as always, in solos, I usually like to land on bounties. Uh, in previous games, I wouldn't mind, or like Verdansk, I wouldn't mind landing on um, scavengers. Because then I could quickly get myself a loadout. But that's not the gameplay anymore, unfortunately. Um, so, I struggle to rack up kills as is. So bounties are only going to help me out with that. We've got one player up here who's doing us a major favor and getting a lot of cash. So even though I don't really have perfect guns, like I would love an MP40, uh, we're still going to force the issue and try to get this guy while he's while he's working on the tree. Because him getting us, probably when we kill him, even after we kill him, we'll probably be like 20k. Like someone has the same idea. Not super confident to take this shot yet. Maybe right about here. There it is. Gotta be careful though that he doesn't peek over the top of us now. I'm gonna pop my dead silence early. You're losing ground. Move it. Keep looking top right. It just re-popped, which means he's on it. And now we reap the benefits of his hard work. GG's good, sir. Uh, insert capitalism joke here. All right, nice. Uh, only thing I'm doing right now is waiting for the dead silence to wear off. I don't really care about all that extra money and hitting the tree all over again. Imagine. Oh, a little bit to the right. This guy actually had a pretty decent bag on him, too. All right, so now where is a buy? There. <gasps> going? Yes, sir. Calculated. Calculated. Great guns on the way. UAV beginning nice. flyover. One player up inside of here. We've got two guys down here Rocket by the SUV. Uh, I didn't really need to pop Daddy on that guy. That's unfortunate. We do have a guy up here that might peek over. Actually, oh, right down. Out of fuel. Returning for resupply. Oh, missed the opportunity. Okay. Um, we do know we have a player here Rocket and a player by the Jeep. And I can check one last time to see if this guy peeks Objective over. It doesn't look like he will. The player on orange. That's very possibly in the air as well. But definitely players over by the Jeep. Got a little bit of extra cash. This is going to allow us to pop a UAV and hold one. Recon inbound. UAV beginning that guy is still kind of on the same mark. Which... There's that rally point. 
leads me to believe he is standing. He is. He is not headshot because I missed those. Let's go. Players somewhat in the same spot. There's that rally point. UAV is out of fuel. Yeah, it looks like he's getting the heck out of dodge. Uh, afterwards, we'll double back to mines. It looks like we've got quite a bit of company still left in mines. Still have the UAV in the pocket. I don't want to pop it quite yet. Pop it right when I get over this hill. We got recon coming. Yeah, okay. So he's sitting UAV right behind this big over. rock. That's a good spot. Movies on top. I'm going to swing around wide. No idea what this guy's up to. Probably playing a bush strat or something. So, unping so I can see better. Pop daddy. And he's just scared. He's just terrified. Poor guy never stood a chance. Okay. Uh, got another guy down here. There he is. Not going to take the shot. I've got players up the hill somewhere as well, so. Hmm. Kind of playing this slow just because there's a lot going on. Looked like that guy was actually doing a re... Or that's still... That, that might be... Yeah, it's just the Christmas tree. Okay. Oh, I see him. I just saw him. I just saw him. I just saw him. Inside of this doorway in front of me. There he is. He's rapping. Nice. I was just really hesitant to take the shot there. I wasn't sure if he, he was going to be able to finesse out. Um, and I kind of noticed based off of his movement, he was, you know, a pretty decent player. But... Safe zone relocated. Recon's on the way. You've got a loadout drop inbound. UAV beginning flyover. There's that rally point. I overflicked. Getting away from that fence because I don't have cover on both sides. Great stun on his part. He's going to push lower right. UAV is out of fuel. Returning for Got out of the stun in time. Absolutely gun. I got a guy rolling up behind me on my radar. Radar ended, but I know he was just rolling up on this yellow building right by the yellow ping. Don't think he made the cross through yet. Got enough money. I'm going to double back. And hit a UAV. Pop one, Recon's on buy the one, hold one. UAV beginning and flyover. Like that guy right Marked there. Good spot. There is someone a good spot. right by my loadout. I don't like that. What is he doing? He's rotating out. Yes, is right on your tail. A good spot. UAV is out of fuel. Let's get the Volk back in action. I could kill that guy, but I really want to kill these guys before we kill each other. I'm going for max really kills. I'm always trying to get the guys that are right next to each other. Last seen on orange ping. Recon inbound. Oh my gosh, that's close. UAV beginning flyover. Absolutely fried. I got a guy close. I gotta be worried about that. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this for the extra stem, but I gotta be careful. There's that guy's in the air. UAV is out of fuel. Returning for resupply. The headshot on that guy. Marked a good spot.
Enemy sorted. Nice. Now I can work my way into the zone. I would expect a lot of people to be on my lower right, though. Possibly coming out of peak. But, like, the thing about peak is, like, there's not a lot of density up here. It's usually just one or two people surviving peak that long. Whereas here, you've got everyone that's coming out of village in Lagoon. Enemy UAV active. Enemy UAV up, which means probably this, but also it could Vendor be behind there. me. It could have been this. Vendor there. I'm going to double check that just to be safe. Not seeing any late rotates, which means it's probably this. Oh, that's... I don't know if I'm close enough to that other buy for me to hear that. You typically only hear um, you got gas enemy UAV if Safe you're like within 300 located. meters or something. Buy station costs are adjusted. Stay paranoid. We've got the money. We need to uh, we need time. to buy another UAV or buy another loadout so that way we can get the um, Enemy UAV high alert. Active. High alert saves my life. So much in solos. Enemy UAV active. A lot of enemy UAVs. I'm gonna keep my gun out just in case he's close. Oh, no. Pop the stim, keeps me alive. Also gives me the movement speed to get the heck out of there. You've got gas moving in. Pop the UAV to see if he's close. Not close enough, but I'm worried about it. We got recon coming. UAV beginning flyover. Loadout drop, headed your way. Ouch. What? UAV is out of fuel. Returning for resupply. Oh, I just looked it looked bugged Welcome on my end. Gulag. Good shots. If you survive, you like I thought he hip fired me for UAV a second. Is out of fuel. Returning for Bide your time. You'll I knew he was coming through the enough. inside, but I didn't think he was going to get the angle that quickly. <sighs> didn't hear him at all. Didn't really matter because I had him on advanced UAV. I knew exactly where he was coming from. The bad thing about that is I lost all that money I spent on a loadout. But frankly, this rotation would suck. A lot of people play slow through fields. So game plan here would be to win. Hit this tier, uh, tree up on top of um, sub pin and run that out. But good push on that guy's part. I really shouldn't have lost that gunfight. I overexposed myself on that corner. Um, I had all the information in the world to finesse. I just let him get to me. There is still a plane left. Which makes me want to get inside of it. So I'm going to I'm gonna alter my plan. And I'm going to go for this right here. The reason being... is more than anything with the plane being in the air Enemy UAV I need without exception um to get self revived so I'm gonna grab the cash that way I, I can you know play off the plane if he downs me once that's fine but I need self revive to be able to play off that plane should be able to get high alert as well. <laughs> kind of risky for me to put it there, honestly. Airstrike, ready when you are. Got your request. Plus I'm gonna put that backwards. cluster there in case there's anyone on the roof. Oh no! Oh no! Literally exactly what I was worried about, but I didn't play the angles correctly. 
Dang. Shoot. That was exactly what I predicted, but I, I slid as I was opening up the crate. And he ended up taking me down. I called it. Yeah, I thought he would be a lot closer to... Um, I thought he'd be a lot closer to this side where the tree was. But unfortunately, not the case. And it looks like that plane got taken out. My original game plan was to go in, get my loadout, get something like high alert, work my way out, use the anti-air vehicle to shoot out the plane as like my only mission. But it looks like the plane got taken out. Most people are really frustrated with planes, but I think they're like the easiest thing in the world to take out. They're annoying, and they're even more so annoying in solos. Um, but if you're playing squads and you're annoyed with planes, you just bait them in, let them make like a strafing run, get a pass. Even if they get one knock, then all you need to do is stay inside as they come through and try to get the thirst. And then after they make their initial pass and they start flying away, the whole squad flies out and just shoots them in the back. Can we get area recon? Marking the enemy target. Someone grab that. All right, so he's opting for the supply drop, or maybe he's just trying to mark enemies. Two kills to his name. Playing awfully, awfully conservative, but that's totally fine. I'm glad that the, the zone pulled off of sub pin, though. 15 players left. You know there's going to be a lot of people dying up in here, right? So, like, any time you see a zone pulling to this side of the map... You're going to have like, you know, three, four, five, six, like really posted. Oh, good shots. I guess it's not really good shots when it's the brand, right? The zero recoil. But the large concentration is going to be in from where the zone pulled. So he's pretty much running the meta builds. He's got the Bryn. He's got the MP40. He doesn't have glasses because he doesn't see the guy in the distance. <laughs> he's rocking the 64 round instead of the 45 though, which is, which is kind of interesting. Need some recon out here. Spots the player that's ghosted. One thing I don't like about this, like if you're popping a UAV, right? And you're popping a UAV for information, like you need to act off of that information. Like stop standing where you're standing. You know the zone isn't going to pull to right here. The game isn't going to end right here. So if you're this player and you're playing for the win and you're playing super scared, right? Because we obviously have a player inside of here because that's where Krampus is. We have a player inside of here. That's where we have eyes on. We got two players over here. Okay, well, let's start playing with some of that information. Why don't we rotate in early to here? Maybe buy another UAV, pop that UAV, and then maybe rotate into here. There's a possibility for these to be in the end circle that you could hold for a power position. That's the type of gameplay this guy's playing. But, like, he's not doing anything by just getting a couple tags here and there. Point proven. So let's see what he does. He's got 6K. He can afford another UAV. He needs to be running with his MP40 out. No reason for him to be running with the with the Bren out unless he's expecting a challenge. This guy just loves shooting people on loadouts, apparently. I'm not bitter. There we go. God, you move so much faster with that gun out. <laughs> Krampus is Tom Brady over there. You can tell this guy's just kind of lost. He doesn't he doesn't have a mission. He doesn't have a plan of what he's doing. He's thinking one circle at a time. Got on the way. Great opportunity for a hold here if he wants to play aggressive. But like, there we go. Stop getting your heads down in crates. Let's start making some plays. Okay, you heard a guy die to your right. You know it's clear. Get the thirst. Okay, okay. Now we're on to something. Let's... Pick up the streak that's on that guy's body. Nice. It's another UAV. Got on the way. I would hit the reload first. You already had a UAV rolling. If you ever notice you have two UAVs, you'll notice the pulse. Boom, 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 boom. But then the other one goes away, and then it's just boom. 
foam. Location marked for you. So if you, there's Enemy actually right a benefit there. to popping two UAVs, and it's Target the frequency of the rate. Watch this guy actually win. I mean, he doesn't have bad shots. He's just a little bit behind the curve based on his play style, right? He has three kills. He's not going for high kill games. He was sitting on top of sub pin. But we could have, you know, established ourselves in this power position three minutes ago. Instead of, you know, delay it like we did. And boom, like we said, these buildings can be in circle buildings. And not to say I told you so, but it's paying off. What I don't like about this. Yes, the bathroom is a safe spot. It's a really awkward angle. People aren't expecting it. But if you have the opportunity to hold someone as they're pushing in all of these people, let's shoot them as the, the zone is on their back, right? And the gas is pushing them in and they're just sprinting and their decision is, is to either get shot by you or hit in the gas. But instead, like, you're, you're playing a lot slower. So based off the information we had, right? All these people fighting sub pin. Let's look out these windows, man. There might be someone camping here too. Let's look out at his rotation. Because all these players are going to fight each other for this piece of nothing. These players down here are going to fight for you. These players are fighting each other. These guys are sneaking up the hillside and going to clap your cheeks. Got a potentially free kill here, though. This guy's wrapping deep left, which is actually a really nice play. All of a sudden, took away Deathstalker's entire plan. Buster Strike's coming in. Goes to hide in the bathroom. Like, if we have our brain out... There we go. If we're, we're going to camp a building, let's camp a building. Get the SMG out. Watch your close left. You see him? You saw him coming up the hill? Close left. There he is. Yep. Like I said, that is the angle he needed to worry about. But now it's going to be really rough, right? So we got one guy holding here from the top of the hill. We got one guy on his lower left. Out of gas mask now. He doesn't have stims. Nice little cut to the right there. But he's going to have to ego this gunfight. Unfortunately, doesn't pull it off. 1v1v1 situation. Unga trying to make a deep wrap if he wanted to. Oh, brother. Oh, no. It's the thirst. The guy's using the bar. What happened to the last guy? I think the last guy was down. I think the last guy was down. That was the guy that just like bing, popped in front of him, right? I think he died to the gas. I think he already had the other guy down or something. Or maybe it was just bug. But either way, man, like that whole rotation of him getting shot in the back. Like you kill all the players that are a threat behind you. So here we are. Uh, here's the building, let's say. You got a few buildings outside of here. You got one other little building here. And like here is the next safe zone. I guess that, that other building wasn't even in it, right? So it's like here is the next safe zone. And here is the current zone. So Timmy, you know, is, is is fat, dumb, and happy. Uh, what's a good color? Timmy's fat, dumb, dumb, and happy inside of here, right? All of these players that are pushing in are all going to fight each other. Your biggest threat is these guys that are coming in from the hill because once we kill all of them, then we can worry about using our cover to get easy picks on these guys. But since he was so focused on getting one or two free kills... These guys were able, these guys, sorry, were able to work up and shoot him in his cheeks. And he just completely gave up the power position. So that's how I would have played it. Take out these guys. Now, all of a sudden, we can use a nasty head glitch and a window. Obviously, it didn't help that the zone pulled way in that direction. Um, but while he was busy fighting, 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 looting, 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 
a guy just sneaks in and shoots him from behind. Is the video? Yeah. This is part of the spectating solos that happens on our second YouTube channel. Speaking of which, if you guys are enjoying the content over there on YouTube, make sure to drop a follow or subscribe here on YouTube. Drop a follow here over on Twitch and, of course, be a part of all the action. If you have any individual questions, make sure to uh, hit me up over there. That's the best way to get a hold of me. Uh, comment down below what sort of videos you want to see next from the Warzone Academy or Ice Man Academy channel, and I will see you all on the next one. Peace.